Hey guys, it's Ricky Melendez from Ricky's Infotech. And I hope you can learn from my mistakes today. Just when you think um, you've mastered the art of flying drones indoors. You know, you have a, you have a crappy day like I just did. Um, you know, the you get really comfortable and uh, the, the Mavic, it's... Uh, it's a drone that you can control uh, so easily that you keep pushing and you keep pushing and uh, since I was flying in sports mode um, you know as you speed up more you're gonna need more space to uh, to break and uh, on my second crash that's what happened uh, I was doing the whole uh, the whole from one side to the other side from my backyard and uh, and I just couldn't stop the drone in time and I hit a bush and a fence. And then on the first one, I was trying to squeeze in the drone in, uh, in a really tight uh, doorway. And uh, I cleared the first two propellers and then uh, as the second set of propellers was going in, uh, I cut in and, uh, and the rear right propeller caught the, the door frame. And, and uh, that's what happened on, on that crash. And I should have just stopped and uh, but um, since I, I wanted to take advantage that there was no furniture in the house because we were painting, and uh, so I went ahead and uh, and kind of was setting up a like a racing perimeter, <laughs> and uh, it just didn't work out very well for me. But at least uh, uh, nothing happened to the Mavic; just the uh, propellers got scratched up and uh, and everything, and uh, and uh, and the gimbal came loose, and I was able to fix that too. So, um, word to the wise, uh, don't fly your thousand dollar drone inside a house at insane speeds. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a good night.